and welcome to OBS Setup and Stream, your easy guide to OBS Studio for crafters. I'm Anthony Minnis from Mixed Media. In the last video, I showed you how to make a custom title screen. That's going to come in handy for the next step because now I'm going to be showing you how you can create your very own custom countdown page with a live clock on as well. If you like the contents of this video, please click on the like button, subscribe to my channel if you're new and click on the notifications button as well. This will inform you of all brand new content that I upload to my YouTube channel. So before we jump into this video, first of all, what you need to do to enable it all to work is to go and watch this part five, installing countdown adaptive timer plugin. Once that's installed, then come back to this video. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is create a new scene. So click on the plus under the scenes and we're going to call this one Countdown Screen. Then once you've typed in the name, click on OK to apply. And hey presto, you've got a brand new scene. We're going to add a image to that. So go down to the sources, click on the plus, go to images and we're going to create a new image. We're going to call this one Background for Countdown and then click on OK. Right, so let's go and browse for the image. I've already created an image in an image editing program. So here it is just here and then open that one. That's gonna bring that up into OBS. Okay, just click on OK. Right click on any part of the screen up the top there and then go down to transform and go to fit to screen. You can also use control and F to also do that same command. So I'm just going to go to the sources. We're going to click on that padlock there to make sure that that image does not move around. Right, going back, we're going to click on the plus and this time we are going to look for a clock. But oh no, it's not there. Where is it? Right, so what you need to do now is go up to tools and go down to script. Click on the plus when you get to script and we're going to go and look for the special script that is going to bring up a live working clock. So go into your main drive, which is normally your C drive. So double click on that one and to bring that up, go to data, go to OBS plugins, and then you just need to scroll down a little bit until you find one called front end tools. Okay. And then click on scripts there and it's inside there. So just to confirm it's program files, OBS studio, data, OBS plugins, front end tools, and then script. And you will find it in there. There we go. It's clock source. Click on that one and then click on open. You'll now sit in there. Now press close, go back to the sources, go up and there we go. Hey presto again, there is our clock. We're just going to add the clock. So give it a title. Okay, we're just going to call it a running live clock. Okay, so click on OK. And there we go. We have a working clock. This will give you the live time when you do your stream. We're going to resize it like before just by using the boxes on each corner there just to position it and scale it. Then when we're happy, we can just nudge it with the arrow keys and Think we're just about done just nudge it in a little bit there okay and then we're going to go and put the padlock on that one so again that doesn't move either so that's the clock let's go and put the timer in so we're going to go a plus we're going to go up to text okay we're going to name it always a good idea to name absolutely everything in OBS so you can find it so we're going to call it clock text that's a really important one to remember so click on okay and then here you can type anything I'm just going to type in four zeros then I'm going to select my font and also within this part as I've shown you in a previous video you can go in there and you can change the color etc but I'm just going to go for a different um, font a little bit further down there just so it matches what I've already prepared in my image editing software for the background then when we're all okay just press on okay I'm just going to scale it in by using the corner red boxes there just position it use the arrow keys just to get it spot on okay right now we're going to go up to tools and then we're going to go to scripts again this time we're going to be using the Tommy Van Cool OBS Adaptive Countdown. Okay, so first thing is we want to select the source. What we're going to change into numbers, which is clock text. That's the really important part. The format you can see there, minutes, seconds, hours, if you should so wish. 
you can have a start text we don't want that so just blank that out so delete it and also we do not want an end text as well so blank that um, start recording yes no we do not want to do that then we want to tell it what to do once it gets to zero on the counter and we want it to change to the title screen okay so that's the one we set up in the previous video I'm going to just pop in um, let's have a think 20 seconds is probably going to be enough for us just for this test we're going to click on OK and you can see it's now changed to the actual scene we want it to go to you can now just go back in there and just make sure everything's nice and centered put that padlock on and then here comes the countdown 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 0 and there we go it changes to the title screen that's how easy it is to create a countdown timer with a live clock for your stream if you like the contents of this video please click on the like button subscribe to my channel if you're new and click on the notifications which will inform you of all brand new content that I upload to my YouTube channel as always thanks for watching